Welcome to my YouTube channel, Grade 7 Science. Today I am going to discuss with you a second term lesson, that is Animal Diversity. In this lesson, we have to discuss more about vertebrates and invertebrates. There is a vast diversification in animals. Now refer to this diagram. Here you can see several species of animals. Human, turtle, snail, worm, crow, crab, elephant, frog. Now refer to this diagram. Here you can find millipede, starfish, fish, bat, python, duck and butterfly. As there are many different species of animals living in the animal world, they are grouped in order to make it easy for naming, identification and to study about them. Now refer to the skeletons of vertebrates. Here you can see the skeletons of fish, frog, ostrich, elephant, crocodile and man. In all these you can find a backbone. Now we will refer to several species of invertebrates. Leech, butterfly, beetle, prawn, snail, spider. You can't see a backbone. Animals can be divided into two groups as animals with a backbone and animals without a backbone. Animals with a backbone are called vertebrates and animals without a backbone are called invertebrates. So animals mainly can be divided into two groups as vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates can be classified into five main groups Fiscus, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aeus, Mammalia. The invertebrates again can be divided into different phyla according to their features. There are five main phyla. Nidaria or Coelenterata, Annelida, Mollusca, Arthropoda, and Echinodermata. The list given below shows you some species of organisms living in seashore. Group them into vertebrates and invertebrates. Now refer to the list and classify. Seagull, fish species and turtle are vertebrates. Hermit crab, starfish, bivalves, snail, prawn, worm and sea anemone are invertebrates. Vertebrates can be further divided into following groups. Fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Here you can see examples for fish. Here you can see examples of amphibians. By this picture you can see examples of reptiles. Here you can see examples of birds. Here, mammals can be seen. Now we will find out about adaptations of organisms to environment. The ability of organisms adapt to their environment is called adaptation. 
these adaptations are useful for them to fulfill their needs. Examples, food, shelter and protection. Thereby the organisms ensure their existence in the environment. Color is useful for the existence of animals. Most of the time, color of the animal blend with their living environment. Thereby, an animal cannot easily be identified by the predators and they will be protected. Camouflage among different animals Here you can see leaf insect, moth, grasshopper, butterfly, caterpillar and green pit viper. Their body color match with the color of the environment. That is the camouflage. Now complete the following table. Here list of animals are given, their environments are given. You have to find the color of the environment and color of the body. Now we will get grasshopper. Color of the environment green, color of the body also green. Leaf insect. Green in color. Environment color also green. Butterfly. Yellow in color. Color of the body also yellow. Caterpillar. Environment color is green. Body color also green. Green pit viper. Environment color green. Body color also green. Moth. Brown in color. The environment also brown in color. So the body color match with the color of the environment. Now we will define what the camouflage is. The difficulty to identify animals separately from their surroundings due to blending of body color to particular environment is called camouflage. Skin color of the animals help them not only to protect themselves from predators but also to find prey for them. The leopard with lumpy skin helps to be invisible to catch prey. You can see by the diagram. Some kinds of lizards change their color according to the environment they live. So you can see lizards change their color according to the necessity. How shape helps the existence of animals? The body shape of animals is also very important for locomotion. This shape is called streamline shape. The body shape of birds and fish is mainly of streamline shape because they need to have efficiency in their locomotion. We can use dichotomous keys for classification of organisms. Dichotomous keys used to classify living organisms based on the presence or the absence of characteristics. Now we'll find out features of dichotomous key. Select a feature that could be differentiated easily. Consider one feature at a time and Separate that feature as present or absent. Finally, separate the item so that only one item will remain at the end. A dichotomous key to classify animals. Here list of animals given. Cock, snail, fish, frog, lizard, cobra. So we can first classify into two groups as presence of legs and absence of legs. Presence of legs, frog, lizard and cock. 
then again can be classified into two as presence of four legs and absence of four legs. Presence of four legs, frog and lizard. Absence of four legs, cock. Then presence of four legs again can be divided as presence of tail, absence of tail, presence of tail lizard, absence of tail frog. Then the other side, snail, fish and cobra can be divided into two presence of fins and absence of fins. Presence of fins, fish, absence of fins, cock and cobra. Then cock and cobra can be divided into two again. Presence of shell, snail, absence of shell, cobra. Now refer to the features of lizard. Presence of a tail, presence of four legs, cobra, absence of shell, absence of fins, and absence of legs. Now we prepare a dichotomous key to classify plant. Here an example is given. The list of plants, mango, cycus, guava, coconut and mimosa. First you can divide into two groups. Having a branch stem, mango, guava and mimosa. Not having a branch stem, coconut and cycus. Then left side again can be divided into two plants with thorns mimosa and plants without thorns mango and guava mango and guava can be classified into two groups having more seeds guava not having more seeds mango then the right side coconut and cycus can be divided again as flowering plants coconut and non-flowering plant cycus now you can describe the features of the plant First, we'll get guava. Have a branch stem. No thorns are available. Have more seeds. Now get cycus. No branch stem. Non flowering plant. Now we have come to the end of the lesson. Today you have learned. Animal diversity, vertebrates, invertebrates, adaptations, camouflage, and dichotomous keys. Subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the next video quickly. Thank you.